how to sell digital products on Gumroad. So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can sell digital products on Gumroad. So as you can see right here on my screen, I am on a fresh Gumroad account. So this is really simple to do. Obviously, just create a new account on Gumroad and you'll be brought to this page right here and you're good to go. So from here, what you want to do is you want to come to the left hand sidebar here Click on products, assuming that you've got a product ready. You can create a, you know, an ebook, whatever it may be, on, you know, Canva or anything like that. It's really simple, really easy to do. So if you want a tutorial how to do that, please let me know in the comment section down below. So first of all, as you can see, I've just got a little test one right here. So to obviously launch a product, what you can do is you can put in a new product. Then you want to select the type of product that you are wanting to sell and you also need to enter in the name right here. So I'll just put in tutorial for YouTube and then I will obviously choose a ebook because that's the one that I will be selling today. And now you can go ahead, click on the drop down menu right here to choose the currency that you want to sell your product in. So you've got all of these currencies right here. For me, I will just choose the Great British Pound. So I'll click on this and then I will price my product to, you know, whatever I want to price it at. So I will just put in 19, 99, uh, 99 for example. And then once you've done this, this is all you need to do on this page. So click on next to the customize options. And from here, what you want to do is you want to write a short description. So YouTube tutorial ebook. So as you can see, whatever you put in this description box right here, it will be displayed under your listing. So make sure to write something, you know, eye catching and, you know, in depth, just so people know what your product is about. From here, you can put in obviously the URL of your product. So you could put in something like ebook into here. And that's just as simple as it is for that. From here, you will want to upload a cover image. So, you know, make sure you create a cover image, upload one, and it will be, you know, shown on this section right here. What you want to do then is you want to add a thumbnail if you want to do that. So you can create one of those on Canva as well, and then upload a thumbnail to make your listing look a little bit better. Come down to product info, and as you can see, the call to action is I want this, or you can change it to buy this or pay. Buy this looks really nice, I think, and it looks, you know, enticing for people to click on. The summary, what you can get, is so you can put in something like tutorial or step by step tutorial guide you know just something really simple you want to put in the summary right here something eye-catching something straight to the point once you do that you can obviously add you know any additional details that you want to do and once you do that you can then obviously come down and change the pricing if you want to do that or what you could do is if you are, you know, giving something away for free, you can allow the customers to, you know, give something extra. So as you can see, it would be 19.99 plus. So a suggested amount would be two pounds. And you can obviously ask for like sort of a tip or a donation on top of what they're already paying right here. Or if it's a free product, they can, just, you know, donate to you whatever they feel necessary. So if you want, if you don't want that, just turn that off. And then if you come down here, you can obviously limit product sales. So you can have unlimited or you can put in, you know, a, a set specific number. So there's only a certain amount left and then that will be displayed in the top left hand corner right there. So you can allow your customers also to choose the quantity of the product. And obviously all of these down here are pretty much, you know, self-explanatory. So once you have filled out all the information on this page, all of your necessary information will be displayed on your preview right here. And that's basically what it will look like. And then you can come over to the content section. And here is where you can start writing in your ebook. If you want to write in here, it's absolutely fine. But what I would recommend is obviously to make it look professional. I would obviously go ahead and create a ebook or whatever product you're selling on a third party website just to make it look a little bit more professional. So once you have created your product, what you can do is you can come up to the top here, click on this. Once you click on this, click on computer files or Dropbox import. For me, I will then select my ebook that I've created on a third party website. So I created this on Canva. And then as you can see, it will be listed right here. And that's simply all you need to do. So then you can go to checkout and just make sure you customize your checkout page. So this is what it would look like 
to the customers buying your product. So to add a discount code, you can click on this and then you can add a discount code. So for me, I will I could put in YT10 and then I could put in you know something like £10 off. So obviously that would be a £10 off and you can have unlimited or you can set it to a certain amount. So I could have £10 off for the first 10 customers and then obviously you'll see the users as and when people do use the discount code. So payment from farming shipping information, obviously it will not be required if you are selling a digital product. If not, you can obviously put in required and then you can add any sort of information right there. So once your customer has then purchased it, they will see this right here. So you can see, you can say start reading or you can put in something like get ebook and I will show you what that looks like. So once they have purchased, this is what it would look like on the right hand side. So it's, it will say your purchase was successful and then they can click on get ebook in order to access their product. So that is all it is. All you simply do then is click on publish and continue. Once you click on publish and continue, that will mean that your product will then be live and then anyone who wants to purchase your product will then be able to purchase it and access it straight away. So that's how simple it is to add a product to Gumroad guys. It's really simple, really easy and you can start making sales pretty much straight away. So it's just that simple guys. If this video did help you out, please leave a like on today's video and I will see you in the next one.